Hi friends, I am so excited to paint with you today. If you'll start by grabbing your medium round brush and we're going to mix a dark red color on your palette. So you'll mix some of that bright red color, some of the light brown, and then a touch of dark brown until you get kind of a darker red color. And this is what we're going to start with. Now, if you have a good point on your brush, you can use it for this step, but you may wanna go down to a smaller brush. So you're going to start on this bottom left side of the heart, and you're going to draw the stem of that little plant. Now I am switching brushes because I want a little bit of a smaller brush for these little leaves. So I'm going to use the same color, and I'm going to start with the top of the leaf, and then drag the brush down, and just barely touch the stem. So you want it to be much wider for the leaf, and then when it comes together in the stem, it's just a tiny, thin line. And you do that by just barely touching your paper with the very tip of your brush. So you'll continue that all the way down. I'm adding a little bit more color there in the bottom, the base of each leaf, and that just adds some variation. No leaves are gonna be exactly alike, and that is fine. It will look a little more natural that way. If they're different sizes and shapes, that is perfectly fine as well. Now you'll go almost to the very bottom, but you wanna leave a little bit of the stem poking out there at the very bottom. Now, once you've done that, we are going to repeat that same step, but on the top right of your heart. So if you'll take that same brush, I want you to add a little bit of water to your paint. This one is a little bit lighter. And so you make it lighter by just adding a little bit of water, but you're doing those same exact steps. So you're gonna start by painting the stem and then start with that top leaf and just work your way all the way up the stem this time. And as you can see here and there, I'm adding a little more paint uh, to certain leaves so that each leaf is not exactly the same. Now I've heard from some of you that one thing that really helps you as you do these videos is on YouTube, there is a setting where you can slow this down. So you can take this at a slower pace. If I am going too fast for you, feel free to do that or to pause at any moment. Now I'm just going back in here and adding a little bit of red to certain parts of each leaf, doing that very quickly so they don't look all the same. And then we're going to let that dry. Now, once you have that, I want you to take that same brush and same color paint, and we're going to go ahead and fill in this red maple leaf on the left. So you're just doing a quick wash over that whole leaf, fill in the whole shape, and then we'll come back a little bit later to add the, the veins and the stem. If it goes on too light, you can see I've just grabbed some more paint off my palette and dropped that in. And to get crisp edges on your leaves, you wanna just use the very tip of your brush. And I'm also going to use the very tip to just draw in that stem. And then again, we will come back and draw the veins of the leaf a little bit later after this has dried. Once you've done that, I want you to add a little bit more dark brown to your palette. So what you already have, you can use that same brush. You don't even have to rinse it out, but add a little bit more of that dark brown. And you're going to do the same thing you just did by filling in the entire shape of the leaf. And again, make sure you're just using the very tip of your brush especially when you go down to add that little stem at the bottom. Then we're going to go ahead and let that dry. Now you're going to use this same color and same brush to do this next branch. Go ahead and use the tip of your brush to draw those two stems. And then you're using that same technique that we used a little earlier, uh, just to draw those little bitty leaves on both stems. These leaves are kind of curved a little bit. Just use the very tip of your brush. They don't have to all look the same. It's just a very quick 
little branch to draw. Now, once you've done that, I want you to use that same color and we're going to fill in the bottom of the acorn. Now, go ahead and fill in the entire shape and then what we're going to do is rinse that brush out, dry it a little bit so it's just a clean, damp brush and you're going to lift some of that color off of the bottom of the acorn so that it shows a highlight. So I'm just gently rubbing that top right side to remove some of the color to show that there is a highlight and that that is a round shape. Now we're going to move on to those top leaves and we're going to add this gold color, this yellow ochre color. If you don't have that on your paint palette, feel free to just use a little bit of yellow mixed with a little bit of brown. But you're going to fill in that shape and then add a little more of the brown there at the base of the leaf near the stem and let that bleed and blend in so there's a little variation of the color from one side of the leaf to the other. Then you're going to repeat that, the same exact steps, for this leaf on the top left. So this time, the base of the leaf near the stem is on the left. So you're going to add a bit of that darker brown color on the left side and just drop that in. Because it's still wet, it's going to blend as it dries. Now once you've done that, we are going to use that same brush, small round brush, and mix a little bit of this dark brown with a little bit of dark blue. Now this makes a very, very dark brown. There's no black on the palette that I'm using, and so in order to make a very dark brown color, I just mix dark brown and dark blue. And I am going to use this color for this top branch. Now this one, I'm making the leaves a little bit larger than the leaves I've done already. So I'm just using that brush and pressing down a little bit more to make those leaves just a little bit larger. And I'm making my way almost to that branch that we've already done, the red leaves. I'm leaving a tiny little space and we'll fill that in here in a minute. Now once you've done that, I'm going to use that same color to fill in the acorn cap because I want that to be a darker brown than the acorn, the bottom of the acorn. So go ahead and fill that in. And by now the bottom of the acorn should be dry. Fill that in and then I'm adding a little bit more paint there on the left side and in the stem. That will show that there's a shadow on that side and then a tiny little bit on the, the right side. And we're doing that same step that we've done before, removing some of the paint right above the highlight that you did before on your acorn. Once you've got that, rinse your brush out. We're gonna find a new space on your palette and we're going to use this yellow ochre, the gold paint. And again, if you don't have this paint, just mix yellow with a little bit of brown. And these are just some wispy pieces of grass or wheat. And so I'm just using very swift strokes and just very light using just the tip of my brush to add these little wispy pieces of grass. And on the ends of them, I'm adding those wheat shapes. So just tiny little strokes on the ends of a couple of the, the blades of grass. I'm going to do that there on the bottom right. I'm also gonna do that up on the top left. So you can practice this once again. What I love about this heart is that it incorporates so many different skills that you can use for other paintings. And so hopefully you're learning some different shapes and different techniques that you can then transfer to other paintings in the future. So again, I'm not adding those little wheat shapes on every single piece, but maybe just two or three. Once you've gotten that, go ahead and go back to that dark brown color. I think that our acorn needs a little bit more dark brown paint to just give it a little more contrast. And so I'm just adding that there on the, the right side and the left side, but leaving a little bit there in the center as a highlight. I'm also going to add this same color, same small round brush to my brown leaf. This leaf needs some more defined veins. And so you can see I've just 
drawn all the way down the center of the leaf and then I'm going out to the edges on either side. Now I'm also going to use this same color for the veins and the stem of these yellow, these golden leaves at the top and on the right and the left side. So again, you're just going all the way across the middle of the leaf and you wanna go as thin as possible. So you're just barely touching your paper with your brush and then just very lightly adding a few veins that go out to the edges of the leaf. Now the next color I wanna mix is, we're going back to this dark red, but even darker than we had before because we're going to add the stem and the veins of the maple leaf. So small round brush, a little bit of red paint, some brown paint, maybe even some dark brown if you need it. We want this to really show up against the background of our red maple leaf. So just like the other leaves, I'm going down the center and then I'm actually adding two little stems on either side and then adding the veins coming off of each of those stems. You can see these are really quick movements, so you don't have to be super meticulous, but just use the very tip of your brush and go very lightly. Now, once you've gotten that, I'm going to add a little bit of orange to my brush because we're going to add these little leaves that kind of fill in some of the shapes at the top of the heart. So these are more, mostly orange. We haven't really used orange up to this point, but I love that for fall. And I'm just making these two little leaves that are similar to the shape of your golden leaves. And then I'm going to add one leaf on this right side to fill in that little gap. So yours may look different than mine. You may or may not need those leaves, but if you do add as many as you'd like, I love that pop of orange color. Now you're also going to take this small round brush. I went back to that dark brown color and just very quickly added some little veins to the leaves of that top dark brown stem. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and rinse your brush, your small round brush, and we're going to mix a new color. I want you to mix some dark blue with dark green. It's gonna make a pretty teal color. And then add a little bit of dark brown. That's gonna mute it just a little bit. And we're going to use that color to add these long wispy leaves that will finish our painting. So there's a little bit in this bottom right side and then in the top left corner of your heart. I'm gonna add a little bit more brown because I want it to be a bit more muted of a blue color. So I'm drawing the stem and then I'm just adding these very loose kind of curvy leaf shapes. And it's okay if they overlap the wheat or the red stem, if these touch or overlap a little bit. And what I'm doing is right now I'm adding um, plenty of color. And then in just a minute, I'm going to add more water to my paint and add a few of those leaves that are a little bit lighter. And that will add a lot of depth to the look of this branch. So once you've done that, add some water and go in and just add a few more little leaves that are much lighter in color. They can go kind of different directions. As long as they're headed in the same general direction, they can curve out or in. Um, and, and your painting is going to look different than mine. So just take a step back and take a look at what your painting might need and where it needs to be filled in. Now, once you've done that, you have one final step. I want you to mix on a new spot that dark, dark brown color. So again, dark blue with dark brown with your smallest brush. And you're going to add the stem and the veins to these orange leaves. Make sure they're totally dry before you do this. If not, wait a few minutes until they dry, but just little bitty veins. And then you're also going to define that top branch as well as the acorn cap so you may just need a little bit more dark brown on that acorn cap and once you've done that you are finished i hope you enjoyed this tutorial